for the most part, we've all been shocked with the drama going on with the Doricos. I mean, earlier this summer, we had the divorce between Dion and Karen. And now, within the last couple of weeks, we've had this drama with Chris's other kids. You know, Dion's late brother. Which, we didn't even know that he had other children. We were like, where did this come from? But his niece, Sierra, has been putting them on blast. Now, I told you guys that Sierra had posted her older brother, Chris, response to Dion's video and Gigi, you know, basically saying like, oh, we don't even know if those kids are even related to Chris. They never took a DNA test. She supposedly got pregnant for him if he thought the baby was his. He said he wasn't sure. By both of my boys loving babies and kids so much. When the baby got here, I mean, he's so gung-ho. Yes, man. Yes, man. He was ready to claim anything that, that looked like or act like it might have been his. So we don't know. Like he said, stated from the beginning, the only one that we're really sure of is Amani. He's the only one that had a DNA. So They really trashed their nieces and nephews, and with Gigi, these are his her grandchildren. And you would think they would want a relationship. Now, there's obviously some history with the mother, and they don't like the mom, but at the same time, Gigi nor Dion can hold that against the kids. It's really ugly, it's really nasty, but at the end of the day, a lot has been exposed. Sierra went as far as to post some old messages from Amani where one, he said Dion was moving funny, and then secondly, he wanted them to all come on camera, which why would a moment like that where he's trying to meet his siblings, why would Amani want that on camera? Crazy, right? Like I told you guys, there is a video that Chris did in response to Dion and Gigi going live about them. I told you guys I was going to post it. Here it go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, <sighs> just got to address some stuff that's going on, man. As y'all know, of course, me. Dion Gaydico. I love drama. And any drama I could get in, I couldn't wait to get in. <laughs> literally. Literally. Now, today, we gotta talk about this drama, man. This drama. About these allegedly kids that I took care of about <laughs> eight years, let you tell it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Gigi, you got something you want to say? No, no, okay. Keep reading the script. Keep, keep, read, keep, read the script. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, um, something that I got to clear up for my fans and, you know, people I've been lying to all this time. Excuse my wrinkled ass shirt. I'm trying to cover it up with the pillow. I just don't. <sighs> I don't know where to begin. <laughs> so let me get off. Um, wait, Gigi, wait, wait. <sighs> Seems like she's always on my shoulder. <laughs> Grown ass man with a woman always over his shoulder. Ain't that right, Gigi? <laughs> anyway. Now, allegedly, I had catered to these kids. I took these kids up under my wing. I sent them down the street to their grandmother house to take tender good care of them while me and Lisa stayed down the street and ate pizza. I sent them down the street to mama's house and made them eat uh, <laughs> pork and beans and hot dogs. <laughs> let's not forget that. Let's, let's, let's not. So um, oh, wait, I see somebody said something about those nickels. <laughs> Let's address that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so my oldest, allegedly, nephew, who's 19 years old, uh, did know where he was at the time of 19 years old. I, I think he was in Arizona. <laughs> but, uh, went over to his grandmother's house. 
who I took care of, who I left sitting on her ass all day long and let her rot in her house while I <laughs> ran it up on everybody else. <laughs> uh, yeah. He decided to take his grown ass over there and take some nickels. Some nickels. Now, I don't know how you shun a child off based off of nickels. And how you lie and say that he was a grown man. <laughs> but if you confronted him about it, which I, I did when he was almost a teenager or grown. <laughs> uh, why wasn't it dropped then and there? <laughs> no. Gigi and I, who took care of his father's his father's funeral, I think it was 10000 10000 I paid. Why well, that is a concern. I don't know. But the closest to Ken, his, his oldest, didn't take care of it. What about you, Gigi? I don't know. He's all for me and all that. He didn't want to. All right, Gigi. You get what I mean, though. <laughs> now, mind you, I'm a grown ass man, and I never wanted to discuss the many issues that I had with their mother. She was just very toxic. Now, me, <laughs> being a part of the ABC 123s, I didn't want to confront her. So I went to my mother. That was the only logic thing to do. I could only go to my mother and talk to her and see what toxic things she can make up as well. Is that right, Gigi? Okay. <laughs> I can't make this up like yeah she was so toxic so toxic that I had every ounce in me to not want to deal with them no more now mind you they did not want they didn't want anything they didn't want anything until we got on the show. GG, stop. Oh, wait. So, until they seen our money and how we loved him unconditionally, even though he was a grown ass man and they was kids when they was up under your wing, we loved this boy only a year and two. How? How do we love this boy so much more than we loved these kids that we allegedly raised with this toxic woman? Allegedly. Is that right, gang? Oh, I mean, Gigi. Did, I didn't mean to say your name on the camera like that. Yeah, anyway. Uh... We'll be right back. Go read the script with GJ again. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, we have to address family issues. Now, of course, you all know me. Anything I see I can rise off of, I'm going to attack. <laughs> so, my brother, allegedly, the one I looked up to so highly. Uh, don't know how. Went the other route, but <laughs> highly. Um, allegedly, I had taken care of these. My two, um, allegedly, um, nephews, and they, uh, their mother. mother allegedly was so toxic I mean she took those boys away from us and put them on the streets and made them criminals I mean literally after being up under my guidance I did that 
she took him away from me and I was I was hurt I mean I couldn't make them what they wanted to be or I wanted them to be I'm sorry they did want to be a part of my Jackson 5 GG stop saying everything that I say read the script okay but yeah allegedly we didn't want our business out there but see the thing is to my fans cuz I owe it to y'all I owe it to y'all all my fans out there I owe it to y'all now back to how <laughs> what I was saying until our money popped up nothing nothing happened no one's tripping off how many seasons we already did we had it in the bag well at least we thought and then, until we started lying about my brother that I look so highly up to isn't that right Gigi Yeah, Gigi. Yeah, I can't express how me and Gigi didn't want this to occur.